Hello again. Hello. Have you ever heard of a troll by the name of Madam Lodestone? Madam Lodestone? No, oh, there's a name I've not heard in quite a while. You know her then? Well, no, but I've heard of her. She died in some sort of construction mishap. A mishap, Nobby. Whatever. Anyway, if memory serves, they put her body in the Salashi Mausoleum. Don't know how she ended up in such an exclusive establishment, but that's how I heard it. That doesn't sound very likely. You did ask. At first glance, Rodin looked like a typical sculptor. On closer examination, I decided he was much less. You wouldn't happen to be Rodin, would you? Ah, I know that one. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Take your time. Um, oh, uh, yes. Yes, I, I, I think I am Rodan. How can I be sure? Beats me. I had a note from my mother the day they did philosophy at school. You must conceive form in depth. Why? Do you know, I don't remember. It figures. What do you make of this? I stared at the statue he was working on. Face to face with art, we shuffle our feet and apologize. We say, I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Well, most people do. I can't even say I know what I like. But that's not the point. The point is that if knowing what you like is good enough for shoes and drinks and women, what's wrong with applying the same rule to art? I guess people don't like to look stupid. Personally, I think art's for guys who couldn't do basic maths. Do you like it? Um, well... I don't know much about art. Sometimes I could be such a coward. So you're a sculptor then. Um, yes. Yes, I'm reasonably sure I am. Hmm, something like that anyway. Why do I get the feeling that you aren't going to be much good at small talk? Do you know a troll named Malachite? Malachite? Hmm, Malachite. It sounds uh, familiar. In your own time? Uh, I think... He works for me. Or he did work for me. Um, no, I think he must still work for me. Look, there he is over there. Do you know anyone named Therma? Yeah, mm -hmm. Where do I know that name from? It wasn't hard to lose patience with Rodan. Every day probably took him by complete surprise. All I knew about the statue was that it was a work in progress. You're a tough troll to find, Malachite. You could say something. 
Okay, so I'll do the talking. So how you been keeping, Malachite? Okay, I guess you don't want to talk about that. This where you're staying at the moment? I guess you're not going to talk about that either. Heard any good jokes recently? How many trolls does it take to change a lamp wick? Want me to give you a clue? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think Therma might be dead. Her house collapsed. She's been gone a while. Are you going to say something? Need to see the body. The body? Find Therma. Need to see body. Okay, the body. No problem. Sheesh. For some reason, there was a grappling iron on the floor near Malachite. I couldn't have been more interested in it, even if it had plot device written across it in large letters. I don't know why I thought stealing the grapple would be easier than talking to Malachite. It wasn't. Hello again, Malachite. No, don't say anything. I know how you'd love to talk, but I'd hate for you to wear out that beautiful voice of yours. So how you been keeping, Mel? Okay, I guess you don't. This where you're staying at the moment? I heard any good. How many want me to? I wasn't the disc's greatest climber, and the warehouse wasn't the easiest building to scale. I was going to need some help. The skylight sat on the roof, an inviting alternative entrance. Hello again, Malachite. No? So how you been keeping, Malachite? The Salachi family mausoleum was one of the most beautiful buildings I'd ever seen, nestled in an upmarket part of the city of Ankh. It was unguarded because, quite frankly, no one in their right mind would do anything to offend the Salachi family, given their ties to the Assassin's Guild. It wasn't just something that wasn't done, it was also something that wasn't survived. I tried to find Therma's grave, but it was a waste of time. You'd need to be an expert in heraldry or genealogy to even begin to navigate around it. I'll say this for the nobility, they keep their dead well indexed.
The note had been pushed under my door by Carlotta. Luton, I am anxious to see you again and to find out how the case is going. Come to the Von Uberwald mansion on Moon Pond Lane. Carlotta Von Uberwald. So, Carlotta was a member of the Von Uberwalds. One of the richest and most reclusive families in Ankh-Morpork. That explained why she could afford to offer to pay me so much. It didn't explain why she hadn't got around to paying me yet, but I could wait, at least until the rent was due. The Von Uberwald Mansion. I already had a bad feeling about the Monday case, but learning that my employer was a von Uberwald didn't fill me with confidence. I didn't know the facts about the von Uberwalds, but the rumors were bad enough. May I help you, sir? You could let me in for a start. Very good, sir. And don't call me sir. As you wish, sir. May I take your coat and hat, sir? Uh, thanks, but no. I feel naked without them. That must make it difficult to clean them. Was that a joke? I never joke, sir. It's not my job. I may lie, dissemble, or deceive, but I never joke. Look, I don't want you to take my coat, okay? But of course, sir. A sir is welcome to drip all over the immaculate hardwood floor that I spent several hours polishing this morning, because sir is a guest, and sir is entitled to do whatever sir wishes. Nice house. Sir's taste in architecture must be quite exquisite to so accurately summarize the many splendid cornishes and archaic stained glass frescoes of this splendid Lorenzian building as nice. You have a gift for making people feel welcome, don't you? One is blessed. I have an invitation from Carlotta. Ah. Sir is as quick to reach the point of Sir's visit as a tortoise with a war wound is in crossing a very large desert. I will fetch Mistress Carlotta for Sir, provided Sir would be so kind as to wait here and not to touch the valuable and irreplaceable furniture that adorns the room Sir is currently dripping on. I'll see what I can do. The painting bore a striking resemblance to Carlotta. The Duchess Charlotte von Uberwald, née Neapoldine. My predecessor, in a sense. Oh? Are you a Duchess? No. But the resemblance is impressive, isn't it? My husband was struck by it from the moment I met him. Where is your husband? Dear Ulrich passed away during a civil uprising in Uberwald several years ago. Quite a terrible business, actually. Peasants, pitchforks burning torches, the usual sort of thing. Usual? For Uberwald, certainly. Their ways may seem barbaric, but it's just the way things have always been done. If there wasn't a civil uprising every few years, I do believe the nobility would be most disappointed. Dying at the hands of a mob in a burning castle is practically traditional. Tradition important to you, is it? Ever the investigator, eh, Luton? Even your employer isn't beyond suspicion. My old boss used to say that everyone was guilty of something. And what are you guilty of? Too many things, sweetie, but nothing you need to know about. So what's the story with you and Ulrich? Do you believe in love at first sight, Luton? It saves a lot of time, certainly. Ulrich fell for me the moment we met. I guess seeing that painting every day probably helped. Don't sell yourself short. You have a few assets of your own. I'm sure it was an equitable transaction. You think I married him for his money? Did you? Let me tell you something, Luton. I've been rich, and I've been poor. Rich is better. Did you love him? Does it matter? It matters to me. Maybe I did. I guess it depends on what love is. Love is a moment of weakness that allows someone to hurt you. More than you ever thought possible. Men were given the strength to be brutes to women, and women were given love to wreak their revenge. Who was she, Luton? Who? The one who left you with such a high opinion of women. She must have been quite a gal.
You wanted to know how the case was going. A girl's got to have hobbies. I think I'm getting somewhere. We're all getting somewhere, Luton. The question is, am I going to like where you're going? I guess we'll just have to find that out the old-fashioned way. That's me, an old-fashioned girl. Like the girl in the picture. The Duchess? She was quite a trendsetter in her era. She wore her dress so high, you could almost see her ankles. My heart is pounding at the thought. I don't have much to tell you about the case, I'm afraid. You still haven't found Mundi? Not yet. I might do a better job if I had more money at my disposal. Ah, yes, of course. You haven't been paid yet. Well, it had crossed my mind. I'm sure I could sort something out. I didn't doubt that she could. The question was, would she? And more to the point, when would she? What can you tell me about the Duchess? The Duchess Charlotte von Uberwald. Born Charlotte Ameliorati Victoire Tangerine Leopoldine. She married the Duke when she was 13, which was the style at the time. She was considered a risque dilettante by most of the nobility of Uberwald, and rumors abounded that she caused the heart attack that killed the Marquis of Grand Mal when she showed him her naked knees. Her corset was said to be so tight that her first pregnancy went into extra time, and her first and only son had learned his first word by the time he was born. You're pretty good on this family history business, then. I dabble. Do you know anyone named Therma? Sorry, Luton. I've never heard of them. Have you heard of a dwarf who goes by the name of Al Kali? No, no, I haven't. Never mind. It was a long shot. Has there been a dwarf around asking questions? Let's try not to get too sidetracked, Luton. Tell me again about Mundy. What's to tell? I've told you all you need to know. Do you know anything about the Milka? Let's try not to get too sidetracked, Luton. You wouldn't have anything to do with the recent murders. Why, Mr. Luton, you must think the worst of me. I think the worst of everyone. That's my job. Do you think Mundy could have been murdered? Anyone could be murdered, but speculation is cheap. And you're not? I'm not cheap. I'm a bargain. Have you heard of a singer named Madame Lodestone? Sorry, Luton. I've never heard of them. I need your help. I'm not hard to get, Luton. All you have to do is ask. I need your knowledge. I need to find a particular tomb in the Salachi Mausoleum, but I don't know enough about genealogy. You do. The Salachi Mausoleum? That could be trouble. Don't worry. I'm not going to mess with the tombs. I know better than to offend a family whose ties with the Assassin's Guild go back to its very foundation. I just want to see if someone's buried there. Who's the stiff? A troll named Therma. <laughs> a dead troll? You don't get much stiffer than that, I suppose. Will you help me or not? Of course, although I'm not really properly dressed for a mausoleum. You don't mind waiting while I get changed? It's not like Therma's going anywhere. If Sarah is not too busy, the master of the house wishes a word with you. And if I am too busy? The master of the house still wishes a word with you, and I shall be forced to beg. That sounds like it could be fun. Did I say beg, sir? I meant resort to violence. In which case, lead the way. <laughs> Mr. Luton, as I understand it, my daughter-in-law has retained you to investigate a certain matter for her. That's correct. 
Then I take it you will be a frequent visitor to my house. It seems likely. Do you know who I am? I know that they call you the Count. Do you know why they call me the Count? Because I am a Count. Count Henning von Überwald. One of the Blintz von Überwalds, I ought to add. Because, frankly, Überwald had an uncountable number of Counts. And I'm trapped in Ankh more pork at the moment because my current infirmity prohibits me from leaving this room. That doesn't explain why you wanted to see me. I wish to know what my daughter-in-law has you investigating. That's between me and her. Uh, no, Mr. Luton. I rather suspect it isn't. You see, Carlotta's hands are not on the von Überwald purse strings. But mine are. So you're saying I won't get paid unless I tell you what I'm doing? No, I'm implying that. Whether or not you actually get paid is a different issue. What's it to you? I get very bored. I'm interested as to what goes on around me. All right, I'm tracking someone for her. Someone who is missing? That's right, a man named Mundy. Oh. I see. Very well. If you keep me informed on the progress of the case periodically, I will ensure that you receive payment. You said you have to stay in the conservatory. Why? Uh, I'm not a well man, Mr. Luton. It is hard to say how long I have for this world, or indeed if the next world will take me. What's so special about the conservatory? Ankh Morpork is too hot and humid for my tastes. I had the conservatory built especially. It's colder than the rest of the house. I keep it at the temperature I feel most comfortable with. Why so cold? You ask too many questions. I'm an investigator. It's my job. Well, be thankful that I find your impertinence charming. Or else I might be forced to teach you a lesson. In your condition? You would be surprised at just what I can do in my condition, Mr. Luton. So if I keep you informed on how the Monday case is going, you'll ensure that I get paid? As much as it is in my power to do so, yes. And what if I mention this to Carlotta? Maybe she's got the money from other sources and doesn't need the family money. Hmm, a possibility. Very well. I'll offer to pay you irrespective of whether Carlotta pays you herself. That seems a little unethical. I'd be betraying the trust of a client. I'll pay you twice your usual fees. Well, what do you know? Suddenly I've resolved all my ethical dilemmas. Ethics are a salve for the poor, Luton. I am the poor. You sound as if you are proud of the fact. The poor are often prouder than the rich. They know that what they have can't be taken away. Why would anyone want to take their poverty away? I didn't say the poor were smart, I said they were proud. So the von Uberwalds are wealthy then? Not compared to some, but we have more than enough to look after our own. Is Carlotta one of your own? Uh, when she married into us, she became a part of us. You sound like you don't approve. My opinions of Carlotta are not the issue. Traditions and ties of blood are stronger than opinions. But there is no tie of blood between you and Carlotta. She married into the clan. Mr. Luton, there are ties of blood between all the von Überwalds. In Überwald, blood is very important. Do you know the Selachi Mausoleum at all? I'm aware of it. The Selachi family and the von Überwalds do occasionally mix in polite society. By polite society, you mean high society? Well, certainly out of your reach. Is there any chance you could show me around it? 
Mr. Luton, there is little chance that I will leave this room for you or anyone else, let alone travel halfway across town to give you a guided tour of a mausoleum. Also, I confess, it would bring back happy memories of when I was dating. You took your dates to a mausoleum? Sometimes. Sometimes my dates lived in mausoleums. You dated the dead? No. The undead. They can be terrible bores sometimes, but most vampires are terribly well-bred. Have you heard of a singer named Madame Lodestone? These days, the only people I know are those who come to the mansion. Do you know anyone named Therma? These days... Do you know a... Malachite. There's a name I have not heard in many years. Yes, I know of him. How? As it happens, he broke into this mansion several years ago and stole several valuable heirlooms that were never recovered. Incredibly, the City Watch was able to catch him before the Thieves Guild did, and he was in prison. For some reason, I decided not to tell the Count that Malachite had escaped. I had a feeling the Troll could still be useful to me. Maybe as a rockery, one day. Do you know anything about the recent murders? There are always murders in Uberwald. I don't see why these should be any different. I was talking about the murders here in Ankh-Morpork. Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less interested in the petty crimes of this wretched city. What do you know about a dwarf named Al Kali? These days... Has there been a... I'm sorry, but I don't... What can you tell... I'm afraid I can tell you nothing. But I would be interested in what you have to say about Monday. Carlotta says he's an ex-lover and she suspects him of cheating on her. And you believed her? Whether I believe her or not is immaterial. Now let's get this straight. We're looking for a troll named Therma? As far as I know, yes. But she may be in here under the name Madame Lodestone. Okay, then we can rule out the Fornix Sanguis Ceruleus. What? The Blue Blood Vault. We can probably eliminate the heroic decapitated war veteran's vault and the thoroughbred pet vault. Do you know what relation this troll had to the Selachi family? Does there have to be one? She wouldn't be buried here if she wasn't. Well, your guess is as good as mine. It took Carlotta a while to work it out, but we eventually found a Madame Lodestone in the Fornix Familus, the servitor's vault. Guess she used to keep the floors real clean or something. Here we are. Madame Lodestone. There's an inscription. Madame Lodestone, singer and retainer of Lord Robert Salachi, taken from us when her house collapsed, returning her to the rubble from whence she came. Not much of an epitaph. Still, it's more than I expect mine will say. I'll probably end up with whatever's written on the cement bag round my feet. Carlotta? Carlotta? She disappeared without even a word. I couldn't work that woman out. Still, she'd found me the tomb, which left me trying to decide whether or not to tell Malachite. <laughs>